downloading and installing the text blender. First go to the www.languages.dk website. You can also go directly using the address here. You click on the tools. And the tool to look at is the text blender. I click on that one. And here it tells me that I can download, unzip and install and test the text blender. In this case it's version 205. The text blender will be updated uh, whenever new facilities become available or if bugs have been found. So I click on it and I select I want to save it. I want to save it in an empty area so I go to the local drive C where I create a new folder which I call the text blender. I then download the file by clicking save. The next step is to open my explorer to find the file that I have downloaded. It was the text blender. I right click the file and select extract all. I click next. I just want it in the same folder so I click next. And I can now click finish. And these are the files that have been extracted. So I just need to click on setup exe. I double click. And it starts installing. I click next. You can decide where you want to install it. I just want to install it in my program files, text blender, and it's now called version 2.0. It does not exist, and I say yes. I have to select typical. And the files are being installed now. And I'm now told that the installation is complete, so I click Finish. After installation, I go to my Start, All Programs, Text Blender, and click. You now have the options of pressing one of the buttons to change language. If I click Danish, you can see the instructions change, and also the navigation buttons change. The same goes with German, Greek, Italian, Dutch. Future versions of the Text Blender will have more languages, but will look similar, just with more buttons.